Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting character education. My name is Corey, and this is Andrew, and we are so glad to welcome you here today. I'm, I'm sorry, Corey, can you just talk a little quieter, please? I'm, I'm trying to think here. Oh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> How's this? How's this? Uh, that's still too loud. Um, how's this? Uh, just, just, a, just a hair quieter, please. Uh, you're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, that's, that's perfect. I Thank wasn't you. even talking, Andrew. <sighs> wow, now you're way too loud. <laughs> Thanks. Um, but why don't you just let us know? What are you doing with the... What are you doing? I, I'm trying to write something that just exemplifies this month's big idea. Well, that's good. Yeah, uh, but I keep getting interrupted by all of this. Well, I'm sorry that our planned recording of this video is getting in the way of this. Oh, I forgive you. Okay. I... Well, let's go over this month's big idea. Something that we'll talk about all month long. Something that grows inside of us to change the world around us. I guess I'll, I'll help you. Okay, good. Um, so let's just reveal a bit. Let's just, just do it. Let's do just it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Drum roll. Yeah. Can you do a drum roll? Three, two, one. Creativity. It's using your imagination to do something unique. Yeah, and I, I have something that's really unique. Lights. Well, what's going on here? I shall now present to you the truest form of creative writing. Okay. Poems. Poems. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> written by myself to anyone this day who needs to feel the warmth of my creativity aimed straight at their hearts. <clears throat> I shall now read to you a poem to you. Roses are red, violets are purple. When I drink a soda, I always purple. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was... Thank you. Oh, thank, you. Awesome. thank you. Thank uh, you. And there's more. Yeah, okay. I have more. Uh, I think we should probably... Okay, see. lights. Another poem. To you. <clears throat> Chickens lay eggs. Bees make honey. I looked in my wallet, and you owe me money! Um, yeah. yeah! I know, aren't they incredible? No, not really, but it's something that you can keep working on. Oh, I am. And in fact, I thought I had written the perfect poem, but I got in a few words I just can't quite figure out. Well, that's too bad. Uh, hey! I got an idea. Okay. <laughs> I, I think you can help me. I think you and, and them, they can help me finish this thing up. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. We can kind of make a game out of it, in fact. Oh, yeah! Yes, yes, this will be perfect. <laughs> okay. This will be perfect. Here, here, so here's... <laughs> this is what you got so yeah, far? Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Okay. So we're gonna need to just spice it up a little bit. Okay. Um, we'll work through some of these details. You can see I got like some blanks here. That yeah. I don't... And they could help out too. So um, okay. it, why don't they pull out a piece of paper, uh, number one through 13, and... Yeah, because I do have 13 blanks here. Yeah, I counted them real quick. Yeah. And then uh, they'll be able to write down some stuff. You, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, so like here, um, number one, it looks like... It would make more sense if there was an adjective there. Do you know what an adjective is? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a word that describes something. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, just add an adjective there. Write down an adjective. Okay. Any adjective. Oh, like, like fuzzy. Uh, it's okay. I'm right. I'm right. Fuzzy. Then. Fuzzy. But, but like, they can come up with something different. I bet they can come up with something even better. Fuzzy's okay. Uh, and then a color, number two. Is there a color that mm. might make sense here? Oh, yep. Yellow. I don't know if that's going to... It's okay. You got your color. You're good. Uh, huh. A uh, three. Huh. A verb that is ending in with like an S. Mm, a verb. So like something that you do. Yes. Um, action. Oh, like explodes. Like when something <laughs> explodes. Oh, Calm yeah. Calm down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, write it down there. Explodes, oh, okay. number three. 
That's going to be good. I want to. I'm ready to see what they come up with though. Uh, and then four. They're pretty creative. It's another verb, but the same thing. Ending. <laughs> up. Oh, sneezes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, creative. Yes, yeah, sneezes. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm write that down. Sneezes. Yeah. You got two of those. You got two verbs ending with an S. Okay. Uh, and, and then number five. This is a numerical distance. You need some, like, a. Oh, so like one a, billion miles. That's that's a lot. You might want to bring your number down a little. You don't have to. I okay, mean, I'm a, your uh, 15 poem. feet. 15 feet. You got that? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, a part of the body. Hmm. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Belly button. Exactly where I was going. Uh, you need help with spelling? No, I got it. Okay. You got body part. Okay. Uh, a length of time? Maybe a little bit longer on this one hmm. or something. It's up to you. So like more than one second? <laughs> yes, more than a second. Um, a year. A year. That's a length of time. Yep. All right. Okay. Number eight. This is just an animal, uh, like a plural, more than one animal. How could you not pick dinosaurs? That's... Come on. You're going to have a very interesting poem. Okay. Uh, number see. nine, a verb ending in ing. So... Oh, um, oh. It's another thing you do. It's like, when it's ing, it's like, while you're doing it. Yeah, and you can't uh, use sneezing. You've already done yeah. sneezes. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to eat. So okay. I'm going to... Eating. 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 Makes yeah. sense. So eating, write that one down there. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, number 10, if you're following along, this is just a past tense verb. Hmm. Ooh. Blown. Like like the wind okay. came through. And it's past tense yeah. that it, it happened. Yeah. Okay. Like the tree was blown over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's weird. Uh, write that one there. Okay. Like, huh. I would have used like ran. Or uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, they can, they can pick 11, something more creative. This is a present tense verb. So this is something that's happening right now. Oh, oh, right now. Nothing's really happening right now though. Uh, mm, giggle. I like when people giggle. Okay. So. <laughs> A present tense verb, and you went with giggle. I like yeah. it. Uh, Twelve. Three-word sentence. Oh. You're going to have to think a little bit about this one. Mm. Like, mm. You, you hear someone say a sentence, but it's only three words. Oh, you know you know when I sneezed earlier? Okay. I was a little worried that I had something. When I, yeah. So like, it's happened before. Yeah. So I'm just going to... Boogers are gross. That's three sentences. No, three, three words. Three words. One sentence. Yeah. Boogers are gross. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> I hope you came up with a three word sentence. Okay. So that's just as good as that. Oh, we're, we're, we only got one more. And it's a number. So it could be uh, one. Nah, that's too easy. Three. Seven. Oh, one billion. If you want. Is that too big again? It's up to you. Okay. One thousand. 276. Okay. Not that I've never thought about that number. It came out. One, really two, fast, seven, six. Yep. Any number you want. Okay. Okay. So your oh. poem looks complete. Um, yeah. It should be fixed up there very well. Oh, oh. So, okay. How about I read mine? Okay. And then, and then they can fill in the blanks. I have the blanks that, that they can, that I sent them. Yeah. Like the poem that has all the blanks, and they can write all theirs in after I've done mine, and they can read it themselves. That sounds great. Um, okay. Your poem's going to be good. I bet theirs is going to be great, though. I, it probably will be better. They're just, collectively, they're way more creative than I am. Well, well, I think, we'll, get, we'll give it a try. Okay, all right. So, <clears throat> all right. When I look into your fuzzy yellow eyes, my, <laughs> okay. my heart explodes and sneezes. At least 15 feet high. Whew. 15 feet high. Huh. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, you bring a smile to my belly button. Every year you're near. Hmm. And your voice is like the sound of dinosaurs eating to my ear. Huh. Is that a good thing? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Uh, 
My soul is blown away by the words you giggle. What do you think about that? It's good. Yeah. It's good. Oh, it's by the words line, you right? giggle, so true. Oh, so they're true. Okay. That's good. Uh, Strong finish. For when I hear you say, boogers are gross, no, I love you 1,276. This is great. Uh, you should publish it. Oh, I think I will. I think I will. Okay, so now they're going to be able to read the poem yeah. that they created. Yeah, now they just fill in their blanks into uh, the That's awesome. I can't wait to hear some of these. They're going to be so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Well, that was that was very creative. It was creative. Thank yeah. you. Good job. Um, Thanks for your help. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, see you. All right. Hey guys, it's, it's me, Sam, and I'm a, I'm a bit frustrated today because I, I've got this blank piece of paper, but I'm not sure what to do with it. And in honor of this month's big idea, I was hoping to show you guys something creative, but I can't. I just, my mind's just blank. I wanted to like paint something maybe like Picasso, but I'm, you know, I really can't paint. So I scrapped that idea. Then I thought, okay, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll draw like an architect, but I've never tried that, so I'm not sure it would be any good. Uh, then I could write, you know, maybe a story, but I couldn't come up with anything right now, so that's a bust too. So here I am just being not creative. Hey, you know what? Maybe if I think about some things I am good at, I'll be able to come up with an idea. Okay, I'm good at math. I like science. I'm into rockets. I I enjoy soccer. I'm good at playing the piano. Man, this is this is this is really helping me. I know I I got it. Instead of doing something on the paper, maybe I can do something with the paper, like origami. Something else I'm good at. Okay, I'll I'll fold the plain paper into a unique shape. All right, then I can just flip. Wait a minute. Sorry, I got so excited I almost forgot. We gotta say the big idea together. Come on, let's do it. Creativity is using your imagination to do something unique. This time, let's get creative. Here, I want you to do, we're gonna say it again, but I want you to choose a creative voice. So maybe you get really high or really low, or you do like a little funny accent, like London or whatever. All right, here we go. Creativity is using your imagination to do something unique. I gotta get to folded. I, I, I'll see you guys next month. So here's the deal, kids. I just snagged this email fresh from cyberspace written by none other than Tanisha from Rhode Island. Quick question, Tanisha. I'm no geography expert, but that's the most landlocked island I've ever seen. Sorry, we're getting off track. Here's what Tanisha from Rhode Mainland has to say. Dear Zachary, Mom's birthday was yesterday. Usually she has to make her own cake, but me and Dad want to surprise her this year. We spent like an hour on all the different flavors, the frosting, and how few candles we should use so she wouldn't feel as old as she actually is. And most importantly, what it should say. Mom is going to be home in about 10 minutes, so I thought we should put the cake on a really fun plate. And that's when Dad had to sneeze. He turned away so he wouldn't get the cake roast, but that's when it started to slip. And so the cake, our masterpiece, hit the floor. Mom is going to walk through the door any minute, and we didn't have anything but a big mess. While Dad tried to make me feel better, my brain kicked into high gear. Maybe we can make Mom a cake out of something else. Out of carrots. Out of spam. Out of stuff we already had in the kitchen. I remembered this awesome recipe for a cake you could make in the microwave. They only took two minutes to bake. When Mom walked in, she was so excited that she dropped her purse and hugged us right away. And we all stuffed our faces with cake. Without utensils, of course. Good news, guys. Tanisha has totally made up for her state having a fake name by giving us her top secret awesome recipe. And for you guys at home, we're going to give you Tanisha's top secret recipe right now. You guys get that? 
If not, you can always go to internet.com and Bing it. And more importantly, be creative. Get out there and use your imagination to do something unique. Hey everyone, Sam here, and we have a great story to tell about today, about today's big idea. Before we get to that though, let's go over today's big idea definition. All right, say it with me. Creativity, using your imagination to do something that's unique. Awesome. This is terrible, 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 terrible. Uh, you, Tucker, what, what's wrong? Are you good? Uh, Sam. Oh, and our audience is still here too cool. This is terrible, terrible, terrible. Tucker, why, why are you doing that? Because, Sam, we just used all of that creativity juice on the poem, and now I'm in big trouble. I was supposed to finish all my homework already, but I just remembered I'm stuck on this one assignment from, like, 12 years ago. Tucker, didn't you already graduate? Well, my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Crabapple, is very thorough. She just called me and said, hey, I have until the end of the day to finish this assignment. Okay, well, what's the assignment? Sam, we're supposed to write an original story. An or well, th that's perfect. That sounds like it would, you know, go great with this month's big idea. You know, using your imagination to do something no. unique. Uh, sure, of course, you're, uh, you're excited, but there's just one problem. I can write poems, I can hotwire cars, I can sing all of Baby Shark backwards. I'm just not creative at stories. Uh, that's not true, Tucker. Everyone is creative. In fact, why don't you guys go over the definition with me and help Tucker out, right? Creativity, using our imagination to do something unique. I think this is a great assignment for you to practice... Uh, creativity, Tucker. Sam, I don't do stories. I only read books that have movies made from them, and... Okay, by reading books, I mean I watch movies, then I say I've read the book. Okay, Tucker, listen. Everyone likes a good movie, that's okay, but... Yeah. Reading and writing is a great way to use creativity. When you read, your brain has to work to imagine the things you're reading. Uh, okay, fine. I, I get that people can be creative. But usually only in one way. Some people are good at drawing, some are good at math, some are good at puzzles, but that's it. And me, it's Baby Shark and Poems. Okay, everyone has imagination, and some people just use it more than others, though. In fact, there's an author and playwright I really enjoy named W. Somerset Maugham, and he said, Imagination grows by exercise and Contrary to common belief, it's more powerful in the mature than in the young. So, but what does that mean? I thought people always said that kids have a great imagination. I mean, yes, kids have a wonderful imagination and they're great at using it, but the reason why I don't use their imagination has nothing to do with getting older. The truth is, some adults are really creative. The reason why some adults don't use their imagination is because they, they haven't exercised it. It's, it's like a muscle. So, using your imagination isn't just for little kids? No, not at all. Some people think that using your imagination is childish or something, but the truth is, imagination is like a muscle. People who practice creativity work that muscle and imagine things by reading and trying new things and learning new things from people who are different than them. Well, uh, okay, do you... Do you think you can help me write this story? Uh, yeah, sure I can. Let's do this. Um, let's try and come up with a simple story. And since you need some help using your imagination, I'm going to help you by asking a few questions. And as you come up with ideas, I'll write them down for you. Uh, okay, great. So uh, what, what do we need first? What All first? right. Um, let's start with a hero. Can you come up with like a character, like a person okay. or an animal or something like that? Hmm. Uh... What about a lizard? A lizard, okay, okay, okay. You know, that's perfect because this month's animal is, is a chameleon. Oh, okay. Um, okay, okay, so we have a lizard. I mm -hmm. like that. Uh, can I get some heroic music in here? Music. Oh, that's good. I like the beat to that. That's okay. really good. Um, okay, once upon a time, there was an amazing scaled hero. He was a lizard, and he was epic. Specifically, he was a chameleon. 
Wait. What should his name be? Um, ah, Sir Lizard Pants. Sir, that's, dude, that's an awesome name. Perfect. Mm, that gives me another good idea. I mean, with someone so heroic, we need a villain. So who, who do you think would make a good villain? Oh, look at you. Uh, Your imagination's at work, Tucker. Okay. What about a giant cupcake? How about that? All right, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so a giant cupcake. Yeah, he he could be a bad guy. Um, give me some villain music this time. Awesome. Okay, so we have a giant evil cupcake, and oh, he has raisins in it. It's disgusting. That automatically makes it evil. Yeah, and the cupcake is out to steal all the world's sprinkles. Uh, but but I need a, I need a name again uh, for this giant evil cupcake. Uh, Frosting faced. Baron Von Frosting Face. That Ooh. sounds really villainous. Yeah, dude, you are rocking this creativity thing. I think you underestimated yourself. It's just flowing. Um, the only problem is that this villain sounds so awesome. How in the world is Sir Lizard Pants going to defeat, ba defeat Baron Von Frosting Face? There's no way. Sam, maybe you could help me out with this. What's a giant cupcake's one weakness, like his kryptonite to Superman? What is that one thing Sir, Li Sir Lizard Pants can use to defeat the evil Baron Von Frosting Face? Hmm. What? What about some rocket balloons? Yeah! <laughs> rocket balloons! Okay, so Sir Lizard Pants, Slippington must be Baron Von Frosting Face from stealing the world's sprinkles. They face off in an epic battle. I need some epic music now. I like that. Okay, um... Let's hear it! Perfect. Sir Lizard Pants gives the rocket balloons to Frosting Face. Frosting Face thinks they're regular balloons, and then whoosh! Frosting Face rockets away through the clouds, and then the sprinkles get caught in the clouds. Next thing you know, the sprinkle thief has caused a sprinkle shower. It begins raining delicious sprinkles across the whole planet, and donuts everywhere are saved! Wow. <sighs> that was... Well, that was something. That was a great outline, guys. I think I can finish the story by myself now. Who knows, I might have to write a movie screenplay for this one day. You know what? Uh, for someone who wasn't too excited about that, uh, you seem to be uh, coming around and liking this assignment. Well, yeah, it, it was hard at first, like with the name, the characters, but it really ended up being pretty fun. I think that's because you are creative and you can use your imagination in a lot of ways. But using your imagination takes practice. Working that imagination muscle was hard at first, but really is fun. Yeah, I guess you're right. And there's a lot of different kind of creativity, right? It's using your imagination to do something unique. Not everyone is creative in the same way. Right, but that's okay because with everyone doing something unique, when we work together, we get really fun ideas. Exactly. And you know, not everyone in here might love reading or writing, but trying those things does help stretch us and make us more creative. That's why schools love for students to read and write. I guess you're right. Even though reading isn't my favorite, it does give me new ideas, which is helpful when you don't have an audience full of creative kids to help you. Thanks for all the help, you guys. That's creativity. That's right. Using your imagination to do something unique. Got my eye. Aye. Right. Very important. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey there! I'm MC Haggis, the world's greatest Scottish rapper, and this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus. Say hello, Seamus. Aye. Right. Give him a taste of what you can do. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. And you know, it takes a tremendous amount of creativity to become the world's greatest Scottish rapper like I have, isn't that right, Jim? Aye. Yes, I know, I'm very good at rapping, but I've never. Felt like I could draw or paint anything, so I just wouldn't even try. And then one day I began to think. You know what I said to myself, Seamus? I. That's right. I said, Haggis, imagine what you could do when you believe you're creative. So that's why I'm painting this self-portrait. <laughs> that I'm almost finished with here. A little more beard and a little... Uh -huh. And it's perfect! It's perfect! <laughs> I can't wait to show this to you, but first I think we need to kick a fat rhyme, don't you? Aye. Kick it! Aye. 
Sometimes you can feel frustrated if you don't feel like you're creative, but you've got the ability to do some things and create things. And do you have creativity? Word! Did you see the director dancing back there? Aye. Got mad beats. Aye. It's time to unveil the picture. Are you ready? Aye. All right, here we go. Take a gander at this. Didn't it look just like me there, Seamus? Guy? You hesitated. You don't think that looks like me? Who? I. What? I. I painted Seamus by mistake. It's obvious. The purple. The. the yeah, I painted Seamus. I. Oh, boy. You know what? I should go into business making self portraits for other people's portraits. That's creative. Isn't that great? That'd be great. Hi. So, Andrew, what did you learn today? Oh, creativity can inspire us in a lot of ways. We can respond creatively to problems we have to solve, and to music, to art, uh, to nature, and to telling jokes with our friends. Uh, reading with our friends and reading to one another is a great way to come up with new ideas and, and also asking people for help. Man, Andrew, you're right. The truth is that we can maximize our potential when we need other people when we find their complete uniqueness. When we combine our different strengths and our weaknesses, we can really just build something amazing. Just like a muscle. It's something that we need to practice like we've been doing all day today. Yeah, yeah. So before we leave, let's go over the big, the big idea one more time. One more time. Uh, yeah. Do you want to repeat or can I? I'll, let me repeat. Okay, you I like can repeat. Yeah, I like to follow. All right, roll out though. Creativity. Creativity. Oh, I like it. Using your imagination. Using your imagination. To do something unique. To do something unique. Thank you for having us today and oh, we'll catch you later. It was so good to be here. Remember that poem?